Hey guys, Ite One Sammy here. Yeah, you can turn on the light if you want. I'm here with my. Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. Here we go. I am here at my Auntie Rita's house in Colombo, Sri Lanka. I'm visiting with her. This is my mother's eldest sister, Rita. Everybody say hello. Say hello, Rita, to the world. Hello. You're on. You're gonna be a YouTube star. All right. So, the reason I wanted to talk to you is because you are the patriarch of my mother's family. So, you are a mother and a grandmother. And a grandmother. So, you're a mother of two daughters and two grandchildren. Two granddaughters. And you were born, what year were you born? 1934. So, it was just your birthday. When? One day before independence. So you are now eight, 1934, so how old is you? So 86 years old. If I can be this happy when I'm 86 years old, my goodness, my goodness. So what I wanted to ask you is, growing up 1934, so let's say 1944, 1945, after World War II, you were 10 or 11 years old, you're, you're in middle school. What was life like for you? What was it like here in Sri Lanka? You don't remember? What, what's your earliest memories back then? The 50s or 60s? Only one thing I can faintly remember when that during the war, the Arabs, Arabs, yes. when we were three from Mali. Okay, up north. And daddy was uh, stationed there in mm. Bangalore. Mm. And then the they are came, they dug these trenches. Mm. Mommy used to put the... The, the, the for the shock wave. A, a stick and yes. put us in a block five years with uh -huh. coffee uh -huh. and put us into that trench. trench. That I still remember. It's very important that back oh, in those days. No, that was <laughs> They're very scary. That's an interesting thing because most of my friends are, you know, we're in our 20s or 30s, right? So most of the people here don't ever remember being in anything like that. That's an experience. Then yeah, when the and that would have been the Japanese bombing. Yeah, yeah, it was. It would it would have been the Japanese. The the civil war here. Yeah. You told me once that they actually came here. The tigers. Yeah, they were bombing, trying to bomb the Air Force Yeah, oh, yes, right, very close to here is the Air Force uh, base here and the port. So at that time, it was a major port. Right now, the port has moved. As soon as they come, electricity will come from everywhere in the dark. And, and the fellows go, you know. With the, with the guns. No, no. The anti-aircraft guns, yeah. And, and the bombings that happened last year happened, one happened just right here, right? The, 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 the terrorist bombings that happened at uh, Easter last year. That happened just at the church nearby here. You could hear it, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, you, you could hear it. Yes, it was. It was. Yeah, you know, but one of the beautiful things about living in paradise is that the people rally around and just, you know, rise up from that. One thing that I have to say, traveling the world and living living in seven different countries in my life, I have to say that the Sri Lankan people are by far the kindest people I've ever met. You know, I'm no, I'm Sri Lankan, but I'm a foreigner in my own homeland. Right? They can tell when they look at me. <laughs> they can tell I'm not a local. Right? I'm a, I'm a for all intents and purposes I'm a kyopo. In Korean that means foreigner. I'm pure Sri Lankan, but I was not born here or I was not raised here. You know, uh, technically I was not born here. I I barely ever lived in this country. So, why don't you tell us a story uh, about, well, so, first of all, this house is, you came to this house. Yeah, I came here. Chris? Yes. Shh. Little quieter, don't yell out there. <laughs> I'm recording a video here. So, you came here when you got married to your husband, 1956. 
and you have lived here ever since. Ever since, this is your home. Basically, you're, you know, for 80% of your life, you came here when you were less than 20 years old. When I remember coming to this house when, he was born. when I was when I was very young, ten or nine or ten years old, and then also when I was in my early twenties, I came here, and it has changed quite a bit. Yes. You used to have all of this land was open. Yeah. I remember that. Now there's houses all everywhere, houses. all houses, and your parents lived here for for a number of years. Yes. Mommy stayed with mommy stayed with me. She was paralyzed for seventeen years, no? Yes, I remember, because I remember coming here and seeing your, your mother. Yes, and your father as well. Both of them I kept this. Yeah, that was very nice. So, I remember one time I was walking in the hallway, and I saw this photograph, and it was a black and white photograph, and I asked, I asked my aunt, how did you get this black and white picture of my brother, my brother Chana? And she says, no, that's not your brother, that's my brother. So her brother, when he was young, 40 or 50 years ago, had this picture taken, and it looks identical to my brother today. Yes, uh, Jerry. So there in your family is five kids. Yeah. Why, I, I'm sorry, why this keeps turning? I don't know why it keeps turning like that. But there's five children, you're the eldest. And, and my mother is the youngest, and there's uh, two daughters and three brothers. And your 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 second brother passed away recently, and the other two brothers I met I've met Alfie and Jerry, uh, Alfie and uh, Earl. I've met them, so you know. And how many cousins? So many cousins. So many cousins. That's the thing. Each. So, on this side, on my mother's side, is five brothers and sisters. On my father's side is four brothers and sisters. So I have nine aunts and uncles. And of those, I'm going to say each one, minimum two children. So that's 18, minimum 18, probably about 24 cousins. So now, Auntie Rita's children, one of them has two daughters, so they are my second cousins, and they are younger than me, they're much younger than me, and my brother and I, my younger brother and I, are the youngest cousins out of all of our families, so we're the youngest cousins, and my brother and I, I'm 52, my brother's 50, so all of my cousins are older than me, so it's very interesting. So. One of the things I love about you, Auntie Rita, is how happy you are. How I see Rita running around. <laughs> I remember you chasing us. And wiping your fingers in the curtains. <laughs> ah, I like, took the cane and said, no, there are dusters. Don't wipe your fingers in the curtains. We, we were 10 years old. We yes. were 10 years and old. And you go out to the bed, Jack, uh, I can't remember also now. Jumping on the bed. And I said, don't the springs will break. <laughs> and then we, I remember one small thing. You all want to go to the beach. Uh. I took both of you all to the beach. Uh. And then we all were going to the water. I was flying. Now, we, you have to remember, we were like 10 years old. Yeah, we all came alone, no? Yeah, yeah, that time we came alone. Without, so one year, my parents sent, my brother and I, I was 10, my brother was 8, they sent us here for the summer. Yeah. That was 1976, 1978. About 1978. Mm. Yes. And you don't like the water. I said, I told my friends, my friends, I told you, you and China and me, don't go that way, but God, the waves are coming. You turn down and told me, if anything happens, then a uh, message to my mother said that it just happened when I gave you shock and brought, brought your home. And I came and told my uh, uncle. Uncle said, my God, don't take him here. Then he happens to me and after that I didn't say we were devils. We, uh, I remember as children, my brother and I were 
Yes, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, we were stupid kids back then, but now and, we're stupid and adults. He's tossing on here, Ben. Let's not get. Yeah, in my child, my father. Uh, but I, one of the things I love is how happy you are. At your age, I wish, I cannot even wish for the blessings that you have. Yes. You're very religious and you're very, you were raised uh, Roman Catholic and you're, you're very devout and I respect that. Mm. Mm. And yeah, the religion was crazy. I remember one day, I, I put this altar here. Yes. <laughs> and then he came and said, ah, you put the altar? I said, yes. I'm going to put Lord Buddha next to Lord Jesus. I said, go ahead and mm. leave your house. Mm. Mm. You do what you mm. like. Your husband. His house? Yes, yes. He never did it. Mm. He never did it. And when he died, the Buddhist priest came. Mm. The Buddhist priest is like this. Looking right now, no mm. mm. But in that way, I, I have no worse to tell mm. He's in a very, very good place. Only yeah. 52, no doubt. Yeah, and you know, as you, as you said, you know, when I asked you last time, it was a plan. It was a plan. Then, yes, God it was a plan. The, and you became stronger for it, yes? You had to raise two daughters yes. by yourself. And you did it. I think you did a better job than my mother did. <laughs> a thundering slap. <laughs> so I wanted to thank you very much for I miss you so much. I'm so happy to see you. And as I told you, I don't think you can make that. No, no, no. You you don't talk like that, okay? God won't keep us long. No. God has said, you, I asked my God has said, yes. suffer little children, yes. come unto me. Yes. And, and those who are heavy laden, come home. Yes. So, but I still need you. Because I told, as I told you, and I haven't told everybody on YouTube yet, but I'm making plans and I'm thinking about returning to Sri Lanka in a year or so, moving here. I haven't decided yet but I'm researching some opportunities so that's why I'm here this week I have some business meetings and I'm doing some research but this is probably in a year or two but I need to come back I need to talk to you I need someone to cook at my new hotel by then you'll be walking around with robot legs okay what are you talking don't talk silly this okay <laughs> yeah. but uh, I mean, your your father and your mother lived to be well into their 90s. They were great grandparents. Yes, 90-ish. Now, here's the thing. Your parents were born in the early 1900s, right? And they lived in Sri Lanka their entire lives, the medical system here, right? And they lived to be 90-ish. So how old could you go to? And knowing my mother, she'll outlive me just to punish me. <laughs> but you will be around for much, much longer. You have more work to do. You have, have more, more work, yeah. Have more work. I think that that's for an eternity, right? We've talked about this before. You need to stay and now work on me, okay? Because when I used to go to the church, mm, mm. these children come and scold me and say, Young enough, come home, come mm, home. Mm. So when I, I go on the beach, yeah, yeah. she takes me to the beach. Yeah, yeah. So all the weekend peace. So then I say, I have done a lot of work for God. Now I, I all the fellows around me, girls and boys. Mm. Huh? I said, so I have done the church work. Now God has said, you have done enough. You go on pension. Mm. Right? And then you know what the girls and boys mm. and all the people in the ground. Mm. We are going to send the SMS to God mm. to send you back because we have a lot of more work to be done here. Mm. To put you back on your feet. Yeah. We have so much more to do. Yeah, it's, it's I I am always amazed at how much happiness and energy you have. At if this had, age. If I had my my legs were okay, I would have been oh. Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> anyway. 
I want to thank you very much, Rita. I love you. I love you so much, okay? I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy. And I want to thank everybody for spending the time with my, my aunt, uh, my, my beautiful old aunt, all right? And you're going to be around for part two of this video next year, okay? Yes. Next year we're gonna do part two. I wanna thank everybody. If you like and subscribe, please hit the like button down below, subscribe, and love Aunt Rita. Ite wan Sami, Auntie Rita, love you all, we're out. Thank you.